Hi, I just wanted to share this short video with you um, regarding ink sticks. I first acquired this many years ago with a set that was very similar to this. They come in little packs with, with the ink and ink stones and things. It's not uh, of any use really. So then I um, was given this, which I quite like. And it had an ink stone, an ink stick, uh, carry your water, and your gum. Bought that separately, a little chop. And that says, wonderful feeling. And carry all my brushes around there. Well, everything I need, really. A lovely little set. But I wasn't happy with the ink, so I sent to America to a chap called Henry Lee. He's got a wonderful site. And he's got um, lots of bits of bobs that you can buy off him. But he also got lots of good demonstration videos. I bought this ink, but uh, it's hard work really. Uh, you can grind it in uh, ink stone two, three hundred times. Like this and it still doesn't give you very dark ink so I was looking on the internet I looked for about two years and I came across um, a video on Raggedy Bird and there's a chap on there talking about the different inks and he talks about the sooty monk and he seemed to be very happy with it but I couldn't find it anyway he said he did say it was on Acorn Planet but um, you can't find it on Acorn Planet at all she seems to have disappeared the lady that was supplying the people I think so this was on um, a website that uh, I purchased and when I paid the money they emailed me back and said well we will sell you this but we wasn't supposed to sell it because we only had three left they found them in a warehouse now this one was made prior 1950 and there were no more made after that and they were all sold. Um, so I was very lucky to get this and privileged. This had come from the oldest ink stick in making factory in the world. So what I'm doing here is uh, you have to soak it in water. They do say for about five hours. I have previously soaked this one on a bit of tissue and there are about two millimeters of the base that you have to take off before you come to the grade one ink. So what I have to do is just cut it off like this. And I've been working away quietly. I'm afraid to take off too much. But when I do get through that, I'm expecting to have a nice dark ink uh, with a good um, smell in it as well, of pine, so they say anyway. But what a treasure really. Um, I was lucky to get the last one I think will ever be sold on the internet. Okay, bye-bye.